Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this elegant bug brooch. In the description down below, you can find a list of all the necessary materials. You can also find a link with these stencils. Cut four identical wings using the second stencil. For wings, I use a thin silver leatherette. I'm going to sew these 9 by 18 millimeter crystals and a thread with 3 millimeter acrylic pearl beads to the wings. I sew the crystals with the monofilament with a thickness of 0.12 millimeters. Then, I sew pearls around the crystal, also using a transparent monofilament. I glued the last beads to the leatherette using a jewelry glue. Glue the other two wings to the back of the wings. Take about 1 meter of monofilament and pass a needle through all the layers, leaving 5 centimeters long of a tail. Pass a needle through all the layers in the same place again and wrap the monofilament around the needle 2 to 3 times and tighten it well. String one size 15 seed bead and pass through all the layers in the same place. Pass through this seed bead with a needle down up and tighten it well. String the next seed bead and pass through all the layers one millimeter farther. And pass through this seed bead down up and so on. At the end, pass through the first seed bead top down and tie both tails. After that, make two identical wings using the third stencil. This is the 0.3 millimeter thick wire. Spread a very thin layer of jewelry glue on the wire. Glue the wing to the organza ribbon, as shown in the video. When the glue is completely dry, you can cut it. Thank you. 
I embroider the edges with size 15 seed beads using the same method as with the previous wings. For the bugs, legs, and antenna, you will need pins with balls at the ends. I string 10 size 15 seed beads and cut the wire leaving about 1 centimeter to form a loop. So, we have two upper wings of leatherit, two lower wings of organza, and legs and antenna. Cut out the first stencil and circle it on the felt with a disappearing marker. Sew the legs and antenna to the felt using the loops. The body of the bug I will embroider with 4 millimeter sequins. I embroider according to the scheme which you can see in the right corner. I sew the next sequin 1 millimeter farther from the previous sequin.
Here I have already embroidered two rows, now I'm going to start the third. I embroider near the previous row so that the sequins may overlap. Sew the twisted wires to the felt with small stitches. Glue and sew the crystal to the felt. I sew the upper wings to the corners of the lower wings using a transparent monofilament. The cardboard should be 2 millimeters smaller than the embroidery. Glue the clasp onto the cardboard and wait for it to completely dry. Then I glue a leather in, on which I've already made two holes for the clasp. I embroidered the edges with size 15 seed beads using the same method as with the wings. Well, that's all. My vintage, elegant, and delicate bug is done. Thank you for watching. I'll be grateful if you subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications of my new interesting tutorials.